been a really enjoyable uh, experience for me to come back home to Western Australia and be part of West Coast Eagles Footy Club. It's a club I grew up supporting as a, as a young kid and um, so many of my idols played here and always have admired West Coast from afar as an organisation and how they run things and how they go about their business. So to be part of the inner sanctum now and contributing on game day is, uh, is really exciting and I've, I've loved every minute of it. The transition from player to coach is a big challenge really because I guess players don't understand the amount of resources and time and effort that coaches put into even planning a training session, for example. Um, players, and I was guilty of it as a player too, to sit there and think that I'll oh, just rock up the training and the, and the coaches have actually just picked out their favourite four or five drills, but until you actually see the amount of planning that goes into our training, uh, let alone our games, now that we're in game mode, it's astonishing really. You can sort of tell he's had a leadership exposure and we've used him a little bit with our leadership group already, along with Sam. So. He's doing our stoppages and you know he's learning on the run but he's doing a really good job. My role specifically is stoppage and structures and I help out Sam Mitchell with our midfield work as well. Pretty much any time the ball is a stop play around the ground whether it be centre bounce, uh, boundary throw-ins, uh, ball ups, kick-ins and zones. Um, I have input and I guess a bit of control over what we do on game day and how we prepare. You now to spend time with quality group of midfielders that we've got and the ruck stops that we have available to us now is really exciting for me. Yeah, he's good. He's brought a fair bit of noise coming from Adelaide, but also, um, you know, he had a coaching kind of role last year, so he's, he's really good at um, interacting with the players, but he's brought a few new handball drills as well, which has been pretty cool. I guess it gets pretty stale after a while doing the same thing, so to have someone, you know, bring some new ideas in is, uh, is always really good. Yeah, Veebs has been awesome. He's um, obviously well respected as an opposition player, um, and obviously captain Adelaide for, for a number of years, so not only does he bring great football knowledge to the footy club, but he's got the, the leadership side of him as well, and you know, I sort of tried to pick his brain about a few things in that regard, but I think he's been good for all our meets. He brings a fresh voice, fresh ideas, and yeah, he's definitely got a bright future in coaching. Yeah, VB is great. He's got that good balance between being serious when he needs to, but also having a, having a laugh with the guys, and I think that's really important with all the coaches to understand all of us as as people first and then working with us to, to improve us all individually and as a team. We played on each other quite a few times, quite at least probably three or four times when he was at Adelaide and I was a young kid and he smashed me in the first couple of times so it was a little bit awkward early on and um, I was actually able to get one up in, uh, in his last year. I guess in a selfish way the satisfaction that you get in terms of helping others and uh, making them better and uh, now to do that at and an elite level at, um, at AFL as an assistant coach is, is really exciting and uh, I certainly get a, a selfish kick out of uh, making others better.